What I'm going to show you now is how I can use the moving filister to make a small rebate and then I'm going to use a side rebate plane with a dovetailing fence to cut an actual little dovetail. Now you can do it, this is handy in carcass work where you're making the frame or a chest of drawers for instance. Um, you may want to put the dovetail the other way. Um, so you can rotate these up if you've got enough pieces and quite often in a tall boy there are a lot of repetitious sizes with a dovetail on the end. So you can tilt them up and put the dovetail the other way. So to do that I'm going to make it a 10mm deep dovetail. So change our setting down to 10mm on the um, moving filister. When you're moving the fence on the moving filister, if it gets a bit tight, it's because you're racking the, you're not turning the knobs at the same rate. Bring it into 10 millimeters. Nice and even. And then I'll leave the, um, we'll bring the depth stop down to 4 millimeters. Same again, make sure the fence is up the end against the car, against the end of the four pieces of wood. Check the squareness, looks good. And now the plane has Hit the depth stop. So I've got a 10 millimeter by 4 millimeter rebase. I now take my uh, side rebate plane, which cuts on the side, and with a six-in-one dovetail fence. Now my job here is to run the dovetail fence against the end of the wood. That will then make my blade cut the dovetail where the moving force is. It's gone. So I loosen off my fence and allow the sole of the, the side rebate to come up against the, uh, the shoulder there. Then lock my fence off and it's my job now to hold the fence hard up against the end of the wood and you can see it's cutting on the inside starting to form our dovetail. And my job is to stop at the point. Now if we get a little bit of raggedness in the corner, that's where I like my other plane, my left hand side through plane. Get in there and clean that up. I'll do the tail boys. And if you take a close look at that, we've got a very nicely formed dovetail. Six in one, a very precise shoulder. You, know, you can turn the flip the boards over and do the other side, or as I was saying before. If you wanted to put the dovetail this way, you can also do the same thing by lining the boards up this way, cutting your shoulder, then using your, so take the bulk out with the moving filler, then cut your dovetail with the side rebate with the dovetailing fence.